All right, cool. All right, guys, welcome back to another edition of the Bomber Football Podcast here this week. I'll be your host. My name is Tom Biscardi. I coach the linebackers, uh, recruiting coordinator, as well as defensive run game coordinator. Uh, with us tonight, we got a few different guys from our program, offensive guys, defensive guys. That they're all from the state of New York, basically. So um, really want to focus this on your guys' experiences within our program, kind of tell your story um, from high school to here and um, through the program, I know Ben and Julian, you guys have been here now five years, so you have plenty to say. And um, I'm going to hand it over to you guys to to introduce yourselves here. So, Ben, we'll start with you, then we'll go Julian and Sam. Yeah, uh, what's going on, everyone? Uh, I'm Ben Stola. I play Will Linebacker. Um, I'm obviously coming back for my fifth year, uh, and I'm from Long Island. So, it's my intro. Uh, what's going on, everybody? Uh, my name is Julian DeMago. I'm from Gloversville, New York. A uh, small town outside of Saratoga. Um, I play receiver here, and I'm also going to my fifth year. What's up? My name's Sam. I'm from Rochester, and I'm going into my junior year, and I play Zip. Great. Thanks, guys. So, so like I said, you're all from New York State. You're all from different parts of the state. So Benson, Long Island, Julian, you're Section 2, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Yep. And Sam, Section 5. So a uh, pretty diverse group of, of people from the state here in terms of where you're from. And that gives you a different experience coming into our program and hearing about our program. So um, the first question I really have for you guys and, and Julian, we can start it off with you. Um, you know, growing up in the state, being from the state and then playing high school football here, when did you guys really start to learn about Ithaca football? Um, was it something you knew maybe when you were in middle school football, when you got to high school or just when you got to the recruiting process in general? Um, well, for me, it was a little bit different because my uncle actually played a uh, quarterback here in uh, 2001. So I've kind of known about Ithaca since way back in the day. It's always been kind of on my radar. But I'd say that uh, when I first knew that I really was it was going to be a possibility for me to end up here was, I'd say, the beginning of my um, senior year of football. Uh, when that season kicked off, I had a lot of um, coaches coming in, talking to me, um, giving me presentations, all that kind of stuff, giving me their recruiting pitches. And uh, the coach that he's not on the staff anymore, but the coach that came and talked to me from Ithaca just kind of stood out. He really sold the school. And from there, I knew that I made the right decision. No doubt. It's it's always helpful when somebody from the family has been, you know, in our program and a part of the tradition. And it obviously helps us. And we have an extra recruiter basically at that point. So, um, Ben, how about you? Uh, yeah, so my story is kind of interesting, too, because I actually found out about Ithaca from uh, through the baseball program when I was a junior. I was going to commit to play baseball here. But then after my senior year of college, uh, of my senior my senior season of football I was like ah, I don't want to do that anymore switched up was talking to a bunch of coaches um and my athletic director from my high school played football at Ithaca and he was always talking about it he was always from the beginning like uh, of high school he was always trying to get me to play football and he was always trying to talk to me about Ithaca so I always had that kind of ingrained in my head too and I knew about it from from this other things just from knowing the school knew it was in a beautiful area I uh, didn't know too much about it until I went on my recruiting visit, you know, met some of the guys. I loved it uh, just from from there, you know, seeing what everyone was about, kind of taking my tours around, seeing what the what the town's like, what the school's like. Um, and I kind of right away, I I I, I was sold and I, I got back to my trip and I was like, yeah, I was like, I don't know. If, I think it was a couple of days after I, I texted uh, the Coach at the time, I actually texted Coach Turp too because he was the D coordinator, and I was like, you know what? I was like, I'm coming. I was like, I love it. You know, I I, I, just, I want to be a part of that. So it all turned out great, though. So yeah, we, we talk to these guys, you know, all the time through the process about um, we can sell you the school as much as we want, but you got to come up and see it for yourself. And then when you do, it's normally a a pretty quick decision within there if you know if it's for you or not. And when you see this place, it's really it's a special place, you know, and it's beautiful out here in the scenery and everything. So it's, it's pretty nice to get up and see it for sure from that angle. And second best to having a, a family member involved with our program is having somebody that's an administrator at your school or your coach, because they're also <laughs> great, great salespeople for us, which is, which is phenomenal. They do a great job and they've been through it um, for the most part and they can tell you all the great things. So Sam, how about you? You're from a little bit closer than these guys. So was it any different for you? Uh, Yeah. Well, honestly, before, my whole recruitment situation kicked off. Like the only knowledge I had about Ithaca was like the waterfalls and like the nature and all that. But once um, school started hitting me up, I got to that time of the year and all that stuff. Ithaca was really just prominent. They were telling me like, oh, we want you. All this stuff came up for a visit. This was, mind you, during the pandemic too. So I didn't even get like the full full gist of it. It was just like a one-on-one tour. Walked yeah. around campus, all the buildings were locked. But 
I mean, after doing my research, I saw the record for the past couple of years, did a little digging from there. And then from there, it was honestly a no-brainer. Yeah, I remember that. It was my first year. It was when we were recruiting uh, you and your class. And um, I hadn't gotten to campus yet when I got hired. I was working remotely for like 10 months. So I'm trying to recruit you guys and like Jay Conley and those guys. And um, I'm like, I can tell you a little about the school, but I haven't been to campus maybe one time. So it was hard for me, too. So um, that, that was an interesting time. And uh, we're, we're just glad you ended up here. But if there was one thing that stood out to you guys each that really drew you here, what do you think it was? Um, I can start. I think that the first thing that stood out to me was how much fun that they looked like they had when they were playing. Um, my high school football experience was pretty bad. Uh, we were we had a bad record every year. We were getting smoked all the time. So I kind of want I knew I wanted to be a part of a winning program, you know, even if that meant, you know, not getting as much playing time my freshman and, and um, well, sophomore year got canceled, but not playing as much as a freshman. I kind of knew that. You know, I, I was willing to put in that work and that sacrifice my first couple of years of playing time to, um, you know, kind of grind my way through the, the depth chart and end up getting more time. So, you know, just the fact I just want to be a part of a winning culture. And, um, you know, obviously that came to fruition and I'm, I'm pretty blessed to have that for sure. For sure. How about you, Ben? Yeah, um, obviously me too. The culture is a big thing we talk about all the time, but I think I, you mentioned it earlier, Coach Scardi, but uh the sense of everyone being together and how close this team is. And when I was, I just touched on it before when I was at my overnight for recruiting, you know, I was in, I was in a small freshman college dorm and there was like 15 kids in there, like all just hanging out, chilling, not doing, not doing much, just enjoying each other's company. And you know, I was asking questions. They were like, they were giving me the recruiting pitch, whatever, tell me what it's really like and stuff like that. And like throughout the night, they were just, everyone just kept stopping by and like everyone who was stopped by was on a team and it was cool like just to see like how everyone was so close and and they were only freshmen too at the time so it's not like they had a bunch of time together because it was only right. like, it was in like february or january something early in the spring um but i thought i kind of felt that whole like togetherness as a whole and it was like because i know i played high everyone plays high school football and sports with their best friends and with their girlfriends and you know if You've been through that. You know how fun of a time it is and how, you know, it makes a team better when everyone's like that. And I kind of just I was looking around. And I was like, all right, like like this is cool. Like everyone seems everyone seems like a good person, like it's legitimate friendships like it, they're And they're all just like stopping by, having a good time, just hanging out with each other, talking about football and whatever. So it kind of kind of drew me in. I was like, all right, like I could see myself becoming a part of this and becoming a part of this culture. So that's kind of I think that that did it for me. Yeah, yeah, I think from a from a coach's perspective, and obviously somebody who played um, in high school, college, the one thing I noticed here just from the outset is it's not really we don't have any like clicks. It's not a clicky unit. Like everyone's just one family here. So um, that's that special lens to our success and, and the uh, culture of the program. Sam, how about you? Um, the other two guys couldn't have said it better, honestly. The team culture, definitely. We're all just family pretty much, but throughout my recruiting process, unlike these guys, like I said earlier, like I didn't really get an in-person visit. I didn't get an overnight. I couldn't really hang out with all the guys and really get a feel for it. But like after doing my own research and talking to other people and talking to all the coaches and stuff like that, it was really, it seemed like the best choice. And I just, not really a gamble, but like I took my shot and then it paid off really. For sure. Going through, so you talked about high school football a little bit. I know, Julian, you touched on it. What have been some of the biggest differences that you guys have noticed? So from your four years playing high school ball and then you get here as a freshman up until now, um, whether you're junior or fifth year. So what are some of the biggest differences between your high school football experience and your experience here at Ithaca? Whether it's the amount of, amount of time or amount of work put in or anything along those lines. Um, honestly, I have an answer that jumped out to me right away. I think like in high school, when, when I was with the other receivers, competing with the other receivers, I really didn't want them to do well, if I'm being honest. Like, I wanted to get mine. Like, I wanted to, you know, like, I wanted to be the starter. I wanted to do my yep. thing. I think it, that's just me. That's just me being honest. I think here at Ithaca, <laughs> it's, it's 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 so different. Like, when 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 my receipt, when one of the other receivers scores a touchdown, like, I'm the first one always there agreeing them. Um, I love seeing all my boys succeed, and they all love seeing me succeed. So I think just the way that we all continuously, like, uplift each other, you know, at practice, we go at it. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. The friction between the offense and the defense is – is unreal. We compete, but when it's a Saturday and it's a game time, like we're all in the same unit, we're barking at the other team when they come to our sideline. So, um, you know, really just the fact how much we uplift each other, you know, we, we want to see each other um, succeed to the highest level. So that's the the biggest difference for me. Yeah, absolutely. Can't be, 
my always, coach always talks about it, you can't be like crabs in a barrel where somebody's trying to get out and, and you're pulling them down. Like you got to stand on each other's backs and each other's shoulders and, uh, you know, try and raise, you know, raise each other's level from there. So how about you, Ben? Yeah, uh, a couple of things jump out to me. One, the speed, just the speed of the game. You know, I, like everything, everything's just like this. And uh, and that was the first thing that stood out to me. But then just the knowledge of football, like high school, high school ball, you kind of just grab me my high school team, regular public school. We just go out there and play. You know, we had like a couple coverages. I'd be doing the same thing every play. And I get here and it's like, it's like, wow, like I got there's there's a full playbook. I got to know this calls for motions, calls. There's so many adjustments and everything. But it's all it's just the game elevates and you elevate your knowledge of the game. And you just you learn so much more about like the game of football itself. And it, it, it was, it's really cool, like learning a defense. And it's it there's a lot that goes into it. But like it, it really pays off when you know about it, because it's it's such a great game. And you you just you learn so much. And it's it's really cool to to understand what was what's what's going on and to look back at my high school self if I was to sit here and try to explain like a defense to myself I'd be like what but then all you know all you need is a year <laughs> like you just you just got to study it and that was just the biggest jump from my game I think was like realizing I gotta like I just had to sit down and and like actually like learn the defense and it's it, it's cool it's cool to like like have that opportunity so yeah I, I feel the same way when I look at the stuff we do or the stuff that I did in college, I'm like, well, if I knew that when I was playing in high school, I wonder if I would have been maybe a little bit better because it's definitely yeah. a big step up in terms yeah. of like just having a knowledge of the game and, and knowing what's coming. And you've got a unique perspective because you've played a couple of different positions for us on defense, whether you started out, you know, playing Will and then moved to Zip and then back to Will now. So uh, it definitely gives you an expanded knowledge of, you know, from the second level forward and then some coverage stuff too. So Sam, what about you? Um, I would say the biggest difference between high school and playing here was – in freshman year, I think it's more, it was more so like a mental toughness thing because in high school, you're the big fish in the little pond. You know, you run, you run everything. You're making all the plays under Friday night lights and all that. And you're feeling like the king of the world. And then when I got here, it was honestly kind of like a big slap in the face <laughs> where, it was, where I was like, oh my God, like, am I trash or something? Like, I'm not getting the playing time I think that I want and all that other stuff. But then hindsight looking back on it is 2020 I'm like man I was just where I needed to be just keep your head down and like coach Terp says you just got to see through the fog keep grinding oh, yeah. your time's coming you're where you need to be just keep working yep there's a process to all of it and I think obviously you guys get to learn from some experienced guys that stay stay here in front of you and play in front of you that helps you become a better player better leader throughout the process of being in our program so um what's your favorite thing about being an ethical football player Sam, you're up first on this one. We're going back around um, the other way. Honestly, I mean, like, kind of bringing it back to how we started the pod, I think it's just, like, the camaraderie, honestly. Like, I mean, even – I mean, I'm subletting from Ben's house right now. He mentioned it before we started rolling. But, like, <laughs> Sitting in my I, family room. <laughs> I know, exactly. Yeah, exactly. But, um, like, I can just walk down the street and just walk into John Crowley's house and be like, yo, what's up, bro, and just hang out for a little bit and – we're always together. I mean, we're just chilling. It's really a brotherhood. And, you know, wherever you're going, you got hundreds, some odd people, however many we got on our roster right now, you got them behind you at all times, really. For sure. Yeah. I mean, that's always going. Your, your friends are like right across the street or right down the street from you in the same house here, of course. So how about you, Ben? Honestly, I might have to double down on that answer. I know it might be <laughs> lame, but it's it's honestly, it is the best thing. Like I, my entire friend group is is on the football team, and you know I'm friends with other kids outside the sport, but it's not the same. You know, just all being together and having that one goal. Like I mean, I live with with five other football kids, and all my best friends, Julian, live across the street with with five other football kids. And then everyone, like, there's another house like down the street. And there's another house. It's just it's so cool that like we're all like good friends and so close together, and we all have this one goal. You know, and it's the grind too. It's it's working for a purpose over years too. It's, it really makes it something special and it's just, it's a really cool feeling. So I, I honestly, I, I think that's, that's gotta be my answer, even though Sam just said it. <laughs> I, I think I actually, I mean, I think the best part about that is when you, when we asked you the first question, what, what drew you here, you talked about the brotherhood and the camaraderie, and then you were just being recruited at that point and you were going to come in here as a freshman. Now you're up here as a fifth year, Sam, you're, you're obviously mm -hmm. a fifth year, but you're, you know, your junior going in your junior year. And so, 
you guys have carried that on. Obviously, you've built that or, or started to sustain that culture. So that's pretty unique. And Julian, how about you? What's your favorite thing? Um, I'm gonna try to switch it up a little bit. I'd say if, if I'm being honest, Saturdays, like I, I just love, I love going out there playing. I love going out there and competing. Like I said, like, like we got some dogs on this team, man. And like seeing everybody go do their thing. Like when, when Stoller Sam, like is getting in the backfield, smoking a running back in the back, like for a loss of three yards, like that's, that gets me fired up no other way. Like when, when the receivers score, like we all have a party in the end zone, we party on the sideline after the game, you know, we got the tailgates going right across the street, all the parents <laughs> cooking up burgers and hot dogs. So, you know, Saturdays oh, yeah. up at Butterfield um, are unlike any other. And then when we go to away games, you know, we go play to away games after the game, you know, we get pizzas, take the, the bus home. So Saturdays, you know, just spending the day with the boys, um, getting on the bus or, you know, being in the tailgates after, you know, just competing, winning football games. That's, you know, there's nothing like it. Sure. And they don't last, they don't last forever. So enjoy, enjoy them when you have them. Right. So I know that's why I love being part of the team, being a coach here, because you get to go out and enjoy that stuff on Saturday still, and may not be strapping up, but I get to watch you guys, you know, go out there and do what you're doing. So, um, last, so one of the last questions I have, and this one's really for Ben and Julian. Okay. You guys are going to be fifth years here in our program. Okay. What made you decide you wanted to come back and play another year here? Oh man. I mean, it was, it was right away. It was the second, <laughs> the second Susan Bassett said we weren't having a season. And the second we found out that we could come back for fifth year, it was just like that. Honestly, there was no hesitation. And I think I speak for a lot of other guys too. Like there's just, you know, if you're, if you're dedicated, like if you like, this is, this is awesome. Like, this is what it is. This is what it's all about. There was no hesitation right away. It's another, another year of football, another season. Like, yes, yes. Like, of course, <laughs> what am I going to, I'd be crazy to say no to that. And I feel like anybody would be crazy to say no to that. It's so cool that we're, we're able to do it. So it's, I'm um, really, we're, we're really blessed. We are. So. Yeah. You right got to love it. You got to love, no love football too, to be in this program. So that's, yeah. that's a great answer. Definitely. How about you, Julian? Um, I'd love to say my answer is different, but as soon as we got that email that we were allowed to have another year, I knew I was coming. Yeah. Like I started reworking yeah. my schedule immediately to to make it so I could last that extra semester. But um, like Ben said, you know, I I keep saying the same thing over and over again. But like we're we're so blessed to be able to do this every week. You know, even just going to practice every day, going to camp, it's a grind, but it's a fun grind. I wouldn't uh, rather do it with another group of guys. So the opportunity to get that one more time and, you know, kind of step into more of a leadership position, you know, is something I couldn't turn down. Yeah, absolutely. I, I wish I had another year. I wish I could take an extra year of eligibility and get out there and play. But I think we're, we're just fine how we are with the people we have now. And I don't think you need my help out there or maybe lack of help, I guess, if I was playing. So, Strap up. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so one final thing here before we go, just a quick hitter, just a fun bonus question before we get out of here. Okay. Rapid fire, Sam, you're first, and Julian and Ben, favorite place to eat in Ithaca? I would have to say Old Mexico. Okay. Best burritos. Okay. Best burritos in town. They're pretty good. It's that's a pretty good answer. That's it's kind of an under the radar answer. I think that's pretty good though. Flying squirrel pizza from uh Italian carryout right across the street from circles with the golden sauce. You're set. That's the best pizza you'll ever have. It costs so much money, but we split it every week for uh receiver dinner. Uh flying squirrel with golden sauce from ICO, best spot in Ithaca. Ben, write that down. We're doing it for the linebackers at some point in the fall. Yeah, yeah. I think we did that with one of our uh one of our like players meetings. We had a bunch of kids come over to linebackers and I had some pizza. But uh, I'm going on campus, I'm going chicken bat. It takes everything in me to not hey, say no Thursday way. Oh, no way. Oh. It takes everything in me. Julian knows how much no, I get. Those. No, he spends a ridiculous oh. amount of time in Terrace Dining Hall. I've watched him go grocery shopping. I feel like I'd be lying if I said it wasn't the dining hall. <laughs> nah, crazy. It's Chicken crazy. bat, bro. Say Chipotle. Damn. I, my, my, I, I would love to say Chipotle, but that Chipotle has uh, uh, annoyed me way too many no, times. No, it's mild. That's not too long. Chicken bap is definitely the next best thing. I'm not going to lie. I lived off that freshman year. I spent all my money there. Yes, my, it's good. They got to get steak, though. They got to get steak. They got to get my, steak. My first spring working here, I think I spent every penny I made uh, at chicken bap. So no, um, it's valid. Too. It's, so, valid. It's, it's, good, it's so easy. It's so easy. Yeah. <laughs> good eats. It's good eats. They give you a lot, too. Good portion. Having it on Grub Pub, too, is, is good. So, yeah. Um, yeah. No, but that's, that's all we got, guys. I really appreciate you taking the time to, to do this for us and, and uh, you know, speak to some of the guys that are interested in our program. And um, looking forward to getting back out there with you guys in just under a month, all right? So thank you again. Thanks for joining. Thanks for listening in. Oh, yeah. Keep it on. Come win football games.
Yes, sir. Yes, sir.